We love your coat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is nice. So, Hiroki, talk to me about the 19th century or 18th century. What? When the did coat, yeah my, your coat and the perfume and everything? Um, so like uh, um, uh, this coat is like from 19th century from Tibet. Uh, I I wanted to have this kind of like feeling, you know, like uh, uneven feeling. Um, so we researched the dye, natural dye, and uh, then we wanted to make a couching sweater using a natural dye, just like Cotton. this. Cotton? This is wool, 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 wool yeah. yarn, the couching right. sweater. Ah. Uh, so this, this color is a... Uh, which is cochineal dye, mm -hmm. which is like a little bit, a little like a bug. The blood of, uh, we use a dye uh, of a little bug blood. Mm -hmm. and, and then the second one is like a mud dye. It's a- uh, Mud? Mud. Ah. Uh, How does that work? Well, like, there's an island, special island called Amami Oshima in Japan. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a volcano island. The sand or mat has a lot of I island in it. So wow. we, we use that mat to dye this color. And last one is a natural indigo. 100% natural indigo. Uh, the indigo comes from Shikoku Island in Japan. Mm -hmm. And they use a... Uh, they use a... Uh, um, I mean, uh, the natural indigo. And then they also use lye, uh, lye. lye, you know, made of like uh, charcoal uh -huh. to, to keep the color. So basically, they didn't use any pure indigo, only natural, 100% natural indigo to dye this wool, wool and yarn. And Beautiful and warm. Yeah, I mean, like I wanted to have this uneven feeling, uh -huh. uh, which I learned, I got inspiration from last season from Navajo Branket. I wanted to uh, uh, make some, you know, the, use the spirits into mm -hmm. my my collection. So this is one of like uh, the symbolic piece for next season. And this was the first time you were doing more things in Japan, right? Well, not only Japan. I'm, I'm, I, I, I've been working with all artisan craftsmen from uh, all over the country. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, my theme for this season was uh, um, you know, like uh, we would like to see the, what, what is the advantage of craftsmanship mm -hmm. and what is the advantage of manufacturing and in terms of making authentic products, that was kind of my theme. Um, so, I I got a lot of inspiration from Japanese uh, artisan and also German artisan, which I show you. 